Hey everyone, so the other day when I turned 34 years old, I wrote a really quick blog um, just writing down 34 things that I had learned throughout the years. And I like doing things like that because it kind of makes me reflect and think about things that I've been through, things that I've learned, things that I need to remind myself. And so I did blog about it, but I thought maybe I would make a video and just share those things with you. And maybe it'll be helpful to some of you guys. So I'm just going to, I have my computer here and I'm just going to read them real quick since 34 is actually quite a lot. So number one, is love multiplies when you give it away. Number two is you will never regret doing the right thing. Number three is people can change, whether it's someone else or it's you, and no matter how long they've been that way, people can change. Number four is forgiveness is a process, not a one-time deal. And this is something that I have learned over and over and over, that forgiveness is a continuous decision. Number five is it's never too late to try something new. Number six is it takes way more energy to be a grumpy pants than to just get over it. Number seven is I wish I started flossing sooner. Number eight is everyone has something to contribute. Everyone, regardless of age, race, gender, everyone has something to contribute. Number nine is hurt people hurt people. And once you realize that, you treat people who are bullies and mean a lot different. Number 10 is it's impossible for me to finish or any mom to finish a cup of hot coffee the first time around in the morning. Number 11 is every woman has an innate wanting and a desire to feel beautiful. Number 12 is good friends are really hard to come by so if you have them treat them well. Number 13 is no mom has it together. No matter how together they look, no mom has it together. Number 14 is there are good men out there. They still exist. They are very few and far in between, but they do exist, I promise. Number 15 is kids need boundaries. 16, taking care of yourself helps you take care of others. Number 17 is if you're wrong, apologize, even if the person is four years old. Number 18 is Everyone wants to be loved no matter how hardcore they may seem. Number 19, this probably should have been number one. God's plans are always, always, always better than mine. Number 20 is surround yourself with dreamers and doers. Number 21 is be happy when others succeed. 22, chocolate is good. It's very good. 23 is love is a choice because you cannot always trust your feelings. Number 24 is being a gracious receiver blesses the giver. 25, a clean house is totally overrated. Like right now, I probably should be cleaning. Number 26, it's okay to try on 15 outfits before you walk out the door because trust me, if you feel good about yourself and good about what you're wearing, you're going to feel confident and be confident for the rest of the day. If you feel like front master flex and you don't feel good about what you're wearing, you're gonna f your, your whole attitude just changes. So I say change as many times as you need to in the morning and it will help you feel more confident for the rest of the day. Number 27 is don't compare yourself to others because you will never win. You need to accept and love yourself for who you are. is every doctor has their own opinion. And that's my dog playing next to me. Number 30 is sometimes all you really need is a hug. Number 31, um, my four-year-old son told me this. He said, if you have a poopy attitude, you need to flush it. Don't spread it, which is very, very true. Number 32 is think the best of people. Number 33 is be correctable, teachable, and humble. And the last one, number 34, is remember that you, along with everybody else, were all a work in progress. So give people grace as you'll need grace too. There's so much negativity out there and comparing and people feeling insecure and bad. I just really hope that somehow this brings a little bit of positivity into your day and makes you think about those good things. So anyways, I hope that was helpful and I'll talk to you later. Bye.